They'd gone to the park in Deptford. Like all cheeky children, they've headed straight for the playground. The terrible infants are created by theatre company Les Enfants Terribles. <laughs> <laughs> They're enough to scare a pug. But here they are on stage. Hello! With the puppeteers behind them, they come to life. We have uh, Finbar, uh, who wishes that he could be a fish. Beatrice, who has a bee in her bonnet, as we say, and loves to talk and talk and talk. and Natter, chatter, babble, gabble. Thingy my boy, which is quite a sad tale of this little boy uh, who everyone ignores and eventually he disappears. This is a, a bike helmet. Uh, which I can demonstrate Go if you'd on, like. You yeah, demonstrate. Thank you very much. So they just wear it like this. So like that's a how they like a normal hat. But then the actor tips it down, and then the character comes to life like this. Awesome. So that's uh, Mingus. Like the rest of the show, the aesthetic is found objects. So Sam, the designer, made it from old bin lids. Oh, so those you can the see the handle. Yeah. And then here as well as the top of the bin and paper mache as well. Good old fashioned papier mache. Absolutely, it? and it works and it's quite effective as well. Once in a blue moon, here I come. The stories are in the style of Roald Dahl, badly behaved children getting their comeuppance. They put this show on 10 years ago. The revamped version includes a stellar narrator. She talked so much that her voice had begun to take on a rather extraordinary tone. We approached Judy Dench, there was a little bit of a connection and she'd seen the first version and said to us, uh, I love it, if, if I can help, let me know. And so we thought, you know, you said that you'd like to help. We've got this new story, would you like to uh, do the voiceover? And she said yes. Playtime is over, in the park at least, but you can see them again at Wilton's Music Hall. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London News.